Hey everyone, it's Max. Um, I just wanted to quickly make this video to go over an issue I found while I was re-watching the video I just uploaded. So this is kind of where we left off, and when we run this to encrypt hello world with three exclamation points, I noticed in the encrypted message, the last three exclamation points remain the same. And there's nothing in the Enigma machine that says a symbol can encrypt to itself, but for this to happen three times in a row, this kind of seemed like something was wrong. So um, when I was testing this, a good way to test if your Enigma machine is behaving as expected is just give it a string of just all the same character and see if it gives you a random string out. So here, if we put in all A's, um, what we get out is this. And while it seems kind of random, there are still lots of instances of lowercase a's not getting um, not getting changed to a different character. And so, um, so yeah, this is very suspect and something's definitely um, wrong. And what it turned out to be was how we made the reflector. So basically, if we go back to the, um, the program that we made the rotors and the reflector with, this was the section of code where we made the reflector. And the problem is that the amount of times we looked for these pairs to swap was very small. We only did this 50 times. And as a result, um, with just how this logic is implemented, there were lots of um, elements in the reflector that weren't actually swapped and just remained as is. So the issue with that is if you have a reflector where none of the elements get swapped, like every character just maps to itself, then the Enigma machine actually doesn't do anything because the forward pass of the Enigma machine um, going through all three rotors gets completely canceled out by the reverse pass for the end. So um, one way to fix this would just to be to ensure that most, if not all of your um, uh, symbols in your alphabet get swapped, we could just increase this from like 50 to like 50,000 or something. And so um, I did this and then I regenerated a new reflector and I have that here. So this is the old reflector. I'm just gonna um, sort of disable this by changing its name with an underscore and enable this one. Um, so here's the new reflector where there's um, much more um, swaps, if not every single pair is swapped. I didn't go through and check, but a much more reliable reflector. And then so if we go here and try to um, encrypt this string of all A's, you can see the text we get is much more random. Then if we go back to the hello world example um, that we started with in the last video, um, you can see we don't have a string of you know three exclamation points at the end again. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly uh, make this video to clear up that issue. and. Um, one other thing too is I, I think I might have mentioned in the first video of this series that um, the reflector wasn't actually needed. And if I did say that, um, this video is a perfect example of uh, me being wrong. Um, the reflector is definitely needed for this to work. And it's also crucial that most of the um, symbol pairs in the reflector get swapped. I'll leave a link to the source code with the updated changes in the description below. And um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.